I am uh, Captain Abraham Moreland. I'm an instructor pilot in the B-1. It's going to be us and two other bombers in formation, so we're going to have a three ship of bombers, which is the first of its kind for a Super Bowl flyover. We've never had this before. Um, and we are going to make sure we have our timing shacked, and we're going to fly over during the uh, national anthem. So for us, flying over a certain area on time is something we train to regularly, so I'm not nervous about being late or messing something up. I think I'm just more excited at the fact that I got chosen to actually fly over the Super Bowl. On a day-to-day -day scenario, we're, uh, we're training to make sure we're ready to meet the Global Strike mission. So if at a moment's notice we need to go somewhere in the world, we'll be ready to go. So for us, we're kind of just taking this and using it as a training opportunity to be able to practice getting over a certain area right on time when we're supposed to be. But also it's a really cool and unique experience to be able to say, I got to fly over Super Bowl 55. We figured out what time we have to take off in order to be over to the Whiskey airspace over by Tampa. And then we will rejoin with the other two bombers. We'll get in formation. Uh, we will work our timing, which means we're gonna figure out when we have to leave to fly over the stadium on time. And then after that, um, we will leave where we're holding and we'll fly right over the stadium during the national anthem. And then all three of us will come back home. Major Michael Webster. Uh, I'm a Wizzo, so a weapon systems officer. So I sit in the back, uh, kind of in charge of uh, navigation uh, and then the offensive and defensive parts of the, uh, parts of the plane. Yeah, so uh, we're executing the flyover. It's going to be a tri bomber flyover with the B-2, the B-52, and then the B-1 from Ellsworth. Uh, and we'll be basically trying to hit our time on target over the uh, over Raymond James Stadium at the end of the National Anthem. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's an, an incredible opportunity. Uh, huge football fan. Uh, you know, so there's only been 55 Super Bowls that haven't been flyovers for all of them. So it's a, it's a select few number of people that have gotten to do this. So being able to be a part of it is. A really incredible honor and I'm really excited for it. Right, yeah, so uh, first of all, uh, timing down to our rejoin point where we're gonna meet up with the other uh, the other aircraft, the B-2 and the B-52. So working that timing, making sure we're taking off on time and then going the right speed to get down there on time so we can all get together. Uh, once we get close to the other planes, we'll uh, get them on radar and then start talking to them uh, to make sure we can all rejoin and be in the same place at the same time. Uh, and then once we get closer to the stadium, again, it's the big part is going to be the timing piece of it, uh, making sure that we're hitting our mark and uh, we're there at the end of the national anthem like we're supposed to be. Yeah, so this is my first flyover with the B-1, so that's that's an incredible thing. And then obviously the magnitude of the uh, the Super Bowl, you know, millions and millions of people watching worldwide, uh, makes it that much that much more special. Uh, also, this is uh, my first time flying with the B-2 and B-52 in the same formation. So that's a really exciting thing. Lots of planning has gone into to make it happen and make sure we're all going to be where we need to be and make sure everything is executed safely, but also make sure we look good. I'm a Packer fan, so a couple weeks ago I was a little disappointed, uh, but luckily the, uh, being able to be a part of the Super Bowl, the flyover, I was just uh, looking forward to a, to a good game and making sure we hit our mark.